Uh, we heard about the uh, crisis. Uh, we were had just gone to sea for out of uh, Newport, our home port, and we're on our way to Halifax, Canada, for exercises with the Canadian Navy. Uh, we spent three days with the Canadians there on simulators on shore in, in Halifax, and uh, when we left, instead of doing the exercises at sea as planned, we headed back to Newport. We reprovisioned and then we headed south and we relieved the destroyers that had initially established the quarantine. They weren't prepared to spend two months or three months or whatever it took down there, but we went down there prepared to stay and as a matter of fact we stayed basically up until about the 1st of December. We didn't leave when the crisis was over with. Uh, we went to the American Virgin Islands and bided our time down there, didn't have a lot to do except that if anything had erupted after it was supposedly over with while we were there and ready to do what needed to be done or to make sure. Uh, we had, we picked up a Russian uh, 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 I hate to call it a merchant ship, I'm not sure exactly what it was carrying but it was obvious to us that there were no materials uh, visible anyway and it probably was not carrying any uh, uh, material that was related to the uh, 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 missile crisis itself. But our communications officer at the time, uh, a uh, Charles Letourneau, was fluent in Russian and as a communication officer he was fluent in flashing light so he carried on conversations with this Russian ship for several days as we steamed toward Cuba until finally the ship uh, was released and went back uh, another way and where it went after that I don't know but uh, we kept plots of all the ships that we had and one of the things that impressed me was the amount of knowledge that we had of where all the Russians were we hadn't been privy to this information beforehand uh, because we didn't have a need to know it. When the crisis broke, we had a need to know it. We had status boards. We knew where everything was. That was impressive to me. We would always be looking for submarines. Uh, the sonar was always active. Uh, but we weren't in a position where we were trying to protect a carrier or a battleship or a uh, major combatant. Uh, we, it was our own protection, if you will, that we were running this, but we operated this on our own time. We knew what it had been, we knew that they were supposed to be taking the missiles out of Cuba, and other people were watching to make sure that that happened. Uh, we were a good ways away from Cuba, and but steaming toward them, and again independently, because we were with this uh, Russian merchant ship that was in that area and that took us down toward uh, Cuba and away from uh, any main forces that we might have had.